Hi there, everybody. Sorry for my voice. I'm getting off a pretty bad flu over here in the training camp in Quebec City. So let's roll it. Um, of course, I didn't expect to win neither the World Cup nor the, the NBA. We started uh, as, you know, uh, the odds were that we could be in the second group uh, right behind the, the top uh, the top, uh, say, four teams in each competition, but we were not really uh, expecting that uh, in, in uh, such in a, in a great way. Um, well, the feeling was great. I mean, uh, the game was uh, was a great game. We played great from, from minute one. Uh, we put the game on the right uh, track and uh, we managed it to... To control the score throughout the the whole the whole um, game time, so we, we could for for one time we could uh, savor it and, and 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 taste it even before the game the game was over uh, was over. Um, well, uh, co- being coach of Spain is 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 an honor is a privilege. It is a responsibility as well because you know you represent. Um, a great basketball uh, community. Um, a, of course, the country you have chosen as as your own for for yourself or your family, and uh, and when you when you see uh, the TV ratings, uh, the audience, uh, the share, and uh, how people uh, welcome you and celebrate uh, your 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 team wins. Uh, you, you can have the, the feeling and the, the let's say the perspective of uh, how important it is. So this is a responsibility as well. I mean, it's, it's a privilege, but a responsibility as well. Um, well, um, I don't think I'm uh, any any different than before winning winning the two things in the same. In the, I would say in the same season, right? Um, I mean, of course, I am. Um, uh, happier, I had uh, two great experiences, unbelievable, both of them. But I don't feel this changing me at all. So I'm just, just uh, more of a next, next challenge guy than uh, look look back to the to the previous one. Uh, well, I cannot say I cannot say what's my favorite player. I would say Pau Gasol. And uh, and uh, you know um, LeBron James, just to give two two names, but especially uh, it's hard to choose among uh, your your same team player, right? Um, I I mean don't don't believe that what the coach says to the players right before the game is making a, a big difference to win or lose a game. I mean, it's uh, way more important how the players and how the team get to the game. If it's prepared, if it's uh, together, if everybody knows his his role into the team, if everybody knows the game plan, if uh, every, let's say, uh, area is covered. And and then, of course, um, uh, you get, you can, Probably at that time is more of important, more, more important, um, uh, trying to relax them and to make them focus on their basketball task on the floor, than to suck suck them up and and get them more excited because they are already you, very excited. I mean, it's it's a semifinal and a World Cup. Uh, I mean, it's something really, really uh, extremely excited uh, per se. Um, no, I'm really happy, Coach Spain. Thank you. <laughs> it's a way better team, and and uh, I feel great with people I have around, players, coaching staff, federation. So I don't have that temptation at at, at least right now. Um, well, um, I can't say that I can feel myself identify with a player. Just again, it's it's hard to choose a player. Um, I was not a great player. I was not an extremely gifted player. I was 
pretty solid and, and, and smart one, but not too, not too talented, not too athletic neither. So uh, I, could, uh, I could tell you somebody who works for the team, made, it, made the, his teammates better, more of a passing first and shooting second guy, um, hard-nosed defender, uh, pick up one of, uh, of uh, the players you know, which uh, this, let's say, um, characteristics and, and uh, make your own choice. Um, again, I d- I'm not the guy who celebrate too much victory. I mean, the, the celebration moment is great because you feel you are really uh, merged with, with your people first, with your team. Uh, there are no anymore uh, jerarchies, coaches, uh, players. Uh, we are all together in the same group, in the same place, in the same room, on the same arena, whatever. And we are always uh, uh, really feeling uh, a part of of, uh, of a whole, of a uh, unique and and uh, uh, a great a great thing, right? Um, and after that, even I'm not too much of a uh, late party guy, so I I prefer to step back, watch my my people enjoy, and that's the best reward for me, frankly. Um, I like other sports. I play paddle. I play golf. Not great, none of them, but enough enough to enjoy them. Um, I like to uh, to watch many sports on TV. And I'm not uh, a video guy, a video game guy. I I leave it to to my son. Is I'm not the guy, <laughs> the NBA 2K guy at all. Um, well, uh, Olympics are really far. We don't know which player we can bring over, which player will be available, which player will not, which player will play in the other team. So it's really really far away. We can we can say we'll get there to compete and to give our best and to make things difficult for everybody who will be on our path, but uh, it's really, really far away. It's, it's hard to make any, any kind of prediction. Um, well, I think that uh, uh, the top European teams may stay in the very bottom uh, range of NBA teams. Um, probably... The big difference would be the physicality. I mean, the physicality here in the NBA is really on another level. I would even say, I would, I would even say on another planet, comparing with the with the Europe. That's the main difference, uh, which I feel here uh, in, in, in uh, comparing in a good European team with the with the medium uh, NBA team. And uh, well, my my schedule is extremely busy. Um, it's a crazy one, and then I had to save some time for for my family and a little time for myself as well, right? Because sometimes you think to everybody, you think to your NBA team, you think to your national team, you think to your family, but you have to keep a little bit of time for 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 yourself. Um, so I would love to visit your school, guys. Um, at the same time, I don't see it that easy, at least short term. Let's see. Let's see in the future. We'll stay in touch and uh, and uh, let's try to make it possible. Good luck on on your on your work over there, and, uh, and the best of luck, of course, for your uh, future career. Bye bye, guys.